so tonight we have the we are in uh, POF in the national in the Tallinn. Oh, sorry. Black Knights International Film Festival, and tonight we have the international premiere of uh, the film Still River. With us we have the director, Angelos Francis, and one of the producers, Konstantinos Kondovrakis. And um, we would like to ask, uh, we will start with Angelos and ask him, uh, first of all, what his film is about. <coughs> uh, Still River is, um, let's say, a suspense a drama about a couple who uh, go from Greece to Siberia because of the work of uh, Petros, the man of the couple. And uh, there, um, uh, the girl, Anna, uh, is uh, pregnant, and, uh, but the couple didn't have sex uh, the last uh, six months. Mm -hmm. So this uh, unexplicable event um, make them uh, choose uh, very different ways of understanding. So there is uh, him, who is a very rational uh, scientist, that he's really trying to find what happened. And then her, that little by little believes in uh, the religious doctrines of uh, Orthodox, and uh, she believe that is a kind of uh, miracle. So this conflict in this couple uh, reveals uh, many, many things about uh, faith, about uh, trust, about love, and uh, this is the main subject of the film. Mm -hmm. So it's mainly this kind of conflict. This is what we will about to see. This is uh, this is a conflict between. Uh, supernatural religion versus uh, rationalism, more or less. Yes, I think it's a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. Is of course this is uh, also, but uh, first of all is a is a conflict about two subjectivities that uh, have uh, very different uh, views of the world and of reality, and you know this is the um, the most important thing that. Uh, to live together and a couple, this is it. Mm -hmm. How how we can live together. Uh, if we uh, go through our subjectivities and uh, uh, our point of view, then you see that all this can destroy uh, a couple, and not only a couple. We mm -hmm. see in the world history that uh, this uh, faith in science or in religion or uh, uh, faith in ideology can destroy populations. Mm -hmm. And um, how come did you reach to that? Uh, how, how come did you decide to deal with that subject? Is it something, a personal matter for you? Like, uh, did you have this kind of conflict for yourself? Or um, is it something that you're trying to address to a more, let's say, universal subject? I think the most personal subject is the most universal subject. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's a very personal subject, but very universal in the same time. And it's uh, a very archetypical uh, uh, dipole, let's say, mm -hmm. this dipole between uh, rational and uh, uh, supernatural or, uh, let's say, uh, religious uh, more, than, uh, more than that. But, uh, so yes, it was something that uh, began like idea uh, many years ago. And uh, I would like to, uh, in, in all my previous film, also there is this... Uh, uh, let's say, uh, transcendental view of things uh, mm -hmm. and what does it mean. And uh, this fact of how we, uh, we face an inexplicable event and uh, that uh, we need a plan of rescue somehow, eh? we need uh, to understand. So uh, each one they try to, to find what is uh, the reality of, of what happened. But there is no really plan. Mm -hmm. And uh, going to more practical details, uh, you said that the film is, of course, is a Greek film, but it's shot in Siberia. How was that possible? Maybe Konstantinos could help us on, on that aspect. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed, it is a Greek film. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the story is entirely set in, in, in a uh, Siberian in industrial uh, city, mm -hmm. which we do not name in the film. Um, and uh, it was a very, very big challenge um, because this landscape, this, this um, urban industrial landscape, you cannot find anywhere else but mm -hmm. in Russia. 
so before uh, Angulus had uh, done a quite extensive location scouting um, and we ended up shooting uh, a big part of the film in, in Russia, in the city of Murmansk, which mm -hmm. is in the Arctic Circle, up in the north. Um, and, uh, but of course it was impossible to shoot the entire film there. It's a very extreme uh, um, locations. In and the weather conditions. And the conditions, and they're very far away from everything. There is no infrastructure to support a film um, there. We didn't have the budget uh, to, beca because okay, there's no infrastructure, you can create the infrastructure if you have enough means. We didn't. Um, and also the other thing is that uh, Russia at the time, and unfortunately to this day, was not a very friendly environment for, for to raise financing mm -hmm. uh, for the film. So we decided to search for alternatives, and we found the alternatives here in the Baltics. Uh -huh. uh, we shot uh, the rest of the film in, in Latvia. Mm -hmm. We looked actually throughout all the Baltic uh, countries, Estonia, Lithuania, um, Latvia. And we, in many other countries, yes. Poland, B Bulgaria. We say we Bulgaria, are, yes. We yeah. searched Romania, mm -hmm. Ukraine. A lot of countries, and we found out the best locations that were close to what what uh, what Angelos had in his mind as a vision in in Latvia. Uh, so in a way, it, it was meant for us to be here now because uh, this film belongs to to this area, and it's, it was. A so it it came back to when it uh, when it started more or less. Yeah, yeah, and this is very uh, very touching for today uh, for the premiere because. Uh, uh, many people of the crew of the Latvian crew uh, are here, and uh, they will be with us uh, for the premiere. Oh, yeah. so they will follow the f yes. what they produced, like yes, uh, yes, some yes, some. Yes. And I th as far as I know, it was a long production. It was like for a um, couple of years, or if you. It was very long because <coughs> um, we uh, we had a shooting in two years because of the weather. Mm -hmm. First year we didn't have the weather that we uh, had. Because uh, the snow, it's a very, uh, it's a condition uh, of the film. So uh, the first uh, year in Latvia, we didn't have the snow that we want. So mm -hmm. we we go the next year and we did again uh, all the shooting in uh, some areas in Latgale, uh, that is uh, uh, in the border with uh, Russia and in villages there, and of course interiors and uh, many other things. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. So we had to shoot the film in two years. Two winters. <laughs> two winters. Yeah. So it was uh, two. Uh, win winter one was uh, the Russian shoot, and part of the Latvian shoot, and then we had to wait for the whole win year to pass, and the winter after to go come back to to Latvia, mm -hmm. not knowing if there will be snow or not. Fortunately, yes. there was a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was a risk uh, of based on purely on the weather. Yes, we've been very lucky at the uh, the second year because really we we've been like. Okay, let's go uh, <laughs> and we will see. And then at uh, we had the snow that we want and the snow ended at the end of the shooting. Okay. I mean, the next day uh, there was there was nothing in Riga. Okay. Could this be like a divine intervention or <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you prayed for snow. Or <laughs> I think everybody's praying. Okay. If it, they believe or not, they pray <laughs> for for that. And uh, how come? I mean, what was the um, the decision? Why was the decision to shoot a film in that snow? I mean, being Greek, why did you decide to? It's not a, it's not a common um, landscape for Greek films. So what what drive you to towards that uh, that decision? For me, it was very important from the beginning because of many reasons. Um, <coughs> one reason, of course, is the snow. The snow, it's. Um, it's a condition of the film because uh, of, of many things, because snow it's a kind of uh, reflects a kind of uh, virginity of uh, the very white uh, uh, canvas, let's say. It's the same thing for the heroes that uh, they are in an unknown and they try to find uh, how they will put uh, something in the emptiness. The fact, uh, the fact that um, it's a couple that there is really far away from them, so they are in the end of the world for, from uh, their side, from Greece. Mm -hmm. And um, of course, because of Russia, because Russia is a battlefield of this, uh, uh, let's say, uh, war. Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, it's, it's a place where faith is very, very strong. 
faith in ideology, faith in religion, faith in everything. So the, the terms of faith, it was uh, there. Mm -hmm. The city, the Siberian cities uh, that are made um, for in Stalin period for the, for the need of the factory of the area is really... Uh, and the pollution of the area, because there is a, this subject also in um, uh, in the film, it's uh, they give you this city a, a really transcendental feeling about uh, something that is really bigger than you, mm -hmm. and that you cannot understand it. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, since you mentioned uh, about the couple, and could, could you give us some more insight about uh, the cast, about uh, your uh, main actors? Uh? Yeah, it's. Uh, I've been very lucky because we have two uh, of the best uh, actors in Greece. I mean, Katia Guglioni and Andreas Costandinu. Uh, with Katia, we work together also in uh, two other uh, films, and uh, they both work with uh, with a really generosity to this project, with a lot of uh, uh, rehearsals and things. They 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 go really deep in something. And uh, all the rest of the cast uh, is uh, uh, actors from uh, Latvia and Russia. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's, uh, it's, let's say, an international cast. And there is three languages in the film. So it's Greek, English and uh, Russian. Mm -hmm. and, and they were had to commit in the end for such a long time, everybody in the film. And I was about to ask you about the, how was the experience for you as from the production point of view to collaborate uh, in the Baltics? How was it like? It was, uh, it was excellent. It was mm -hmm. really um, a very. It was a very, as you can imagine, it was a very demanding uh, film. Not, first of all, because we uh, had to shoot in, in 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 difficult conditions. We were outside most of the time in really, really extreme weather. We had to shoot some pretty difficult things, like the scene of the baptism in the frozen uh, river. Um, and, uh, and also the fact that we had to extend this shooting in two winters made it, made it also added an extra level of difficulty. But uh, our partners in, in, in Latvia were, and the crews were, I think, it's very hard working, very honest, and, and very dedicated uh, professionals. They yeah. did an extremely nice job, mm -hmm. and yeah. is, uh, we've been really lucky to have them. Yeah. And uh, it, for me, I, I was very afraid because, you know, it's, uh, uh, you do uh, in another country uh, with people that you don't know, and the, the crew, because it's a French, Latvian, Greek uh, production, so uh, all these different cinematic civilization have to uh, to be coexist, together yeah. and coexist and understand each other that it's not necessary a um, uh, a thing that it's passed like that mm -hmm. and we've been really really lucky yeah. to in this point yeah we had the uh, well the the core team of us uh, we were greeks we have the camera department from uh, from france and then uh, the rest of the the crew was uh, was uh, Latvian. Mm -hmm. Let's say at this point that uh, our Latvian partners are Tasse Film, mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, we were supported uh, by the Latvian Film Center and the 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 film fund of the Riga of the Riga city, uh -huh, okay. which is a, a cash rebate. I see. Um, and. Um, it was indeed a very good experience. I would, uh, I would gladly do it again. Yeah, yeah. that's great. And officially, this maybe is maybe in Estonia next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And officially, since this is uh, the international premiere is uh, today, it's the third winter in a row that you are dealing with yes, the same film. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And you are quite lucky because it it snows today. It's so not today, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. everything uh, aligns. The film is uh, tonight. The international premiere of uh, Still River. Uh, it, uh, it's uh, the film participates in the main competition. And uh, wish you the best, and uh, let's see how it's going to be accepted by the Baltic uh, audience and the international audience soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.